Hi, Connor McCarthy here from MMB Photography. And I'm here playing with my green screen. It's awesome. I just have two lights here and a green screen. So, it's pretty small, actually. I mean, it fits me in it, so makes me happy. But, I just got a new program, Sony Vegas, Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD. And it has a green screen editor that I discovered, so I'm going to use it, and I happen to have a green screen. So, um, I'm going to cut to the video of how to edit a green screen video to make it have all the effects in the background and stuff like that. So, here you go. Alright, here's how to edit it. You just click new. Um, I like these settings, so I don't have to worry about the folder it's in. All right, so I'm gonna first select my video, which should be right there. I'm gonna drag it right in, and you can see the video. Hi, Kyle McCarthy. Okay, so. You want to make this green screen color effects, so first what I'm going to do is put this on the video layer. I'm going to go into video event, e event effects, select Sony Chroma Blur and Chroma Keyer. Click OK. This um, I can just put up to one, which is what I usually do. It's no big deal, really. So you set that to one. You're in Chroma Blur with this. So you're going to go into Chroma Keyer. This will pop up. And you click this little Pick Color from Screen button. And then you pick the color from the screen. So... Now you have the background selected, so all you have to do is you click show mask only and you can select the threshold um, of the actual person that you want to um, edit and you can just narrow it down to there and you want to do some blur to take out those crappy li um, lines from the video and then you can you know size it up and do all that and you have your effect. So, once you got that, you're not necessarily done yet. So this layer, um, video overlay, you, I'm going to add an effect or a video or a generator. Now you can do on um, this tab, media generators, and I'm going to use um, large tiles for this. So I don't really care about the settings for that. I'm going to just drag it to the end of the video. Now, actually, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. You want to drag the video on video and, or the, the actual video on video overlay and video um, layer to be the checkers, and you have your, you have your layer. Now you can do anything with this. You can do um, color gradients, you can do pictures, you can do video, it really doesn't matter. Um, I can do soft clouds, which I'm going to put in right now. Um, don't care about the settings. And I'm just going to drag it out to the end or wherever. And I could be on top of clouds. Now you see those little lines? You can fix those by going back in and switching this around. You can make yourself look headless, you can do a lot of cool effects. Put more blur on it, get it away. Alright, so we have this pretty much done. Now effects, um, you can just uh, add some text. Yeah, Just some cool text like action flip. You can just be like, 
write any kind of text you want, and then put this on the text on the top layer, and it should have it. And you can um, change the uh, settings of the effects and all that, and it's it's pretty easy. But this is pretty much it, and you just size up all the the um, video and the text and the the audio. You shouldn't worry about. I mean, if you're only using one video, you should be fine. So um, I hope this helps. Um, this is a really awesome way of just doing green screen stuff. It's really easy. Um, Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD 11 is a great program. So, I'm really happy I have it. It's done wonders for me already. So, alright, um, I shall see you guys later.